Ah, my brother. There you are. We've been looking all over for you. We thought you'd gone. I've been searching all night for her. Her? The beautiful one I danced the evening with. Oh, where is she? Disappeared like the fine morning mist. <laughs> well, she was lovely. The loveliest. <laughs> I must confess, I too have found a beautiful maiden. <laughs> she lives here in the woods. In the woods? Yes, in the top of a tall tower with no doors. <laughs> and how, how do you manage a visit? No, oh, I shout to her, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair to me. And I climb her beautiful golden hair. Rapunzel? Rapunzel. What kind of a name is that? <laughs> you jest. I've never heard of such a thing. Oh, I speak the truth. She's as true as your maiden. It's so strange. A maiden running from a prince. No maiden would ever run from us. Yet one has. <laughs> I abuse her or show her disdain. Why does she run from me? If I should lose her, how shall I regain the heart she has won from me? Agony beyond power of speech. When the one thing you want is the only thing out of your reach. In her tower, she sits by the hour, maintaining her hair. Blithe and becoming, and frequently humming a light hearted air. Ah, agony far more painful than yours when you know she would go with you if there only were doors. Agony, oh, the torture they teach. What's as intriguing or half so fatiguing as what's out of reach? Am I not sensitive, clever, well mannered, considerate, passionate, charming, as kind as I'm handsome you and heir to a throne? You are everything maidens could wish for. Then why no? Do I know? A girl must be mad. You know nothing of madness till you're climbing her hair and you see her up there as you're hearing her all the while nearing her. Always ten steps behind, always ten feet below, and, and she's, she's just out of reach. Agony, agony that can, can cut like a knife. I must have her to.